Good evening from the Castle Greenwood Weather Center in Brooklyn. I'm glad you've joined us for the AccuLorba weekend weather forecast. It's a Labor Day weekend, meaning there's only 72 hours left of summer, so let's get right to it. But before we get all teary-eyed that summer is out for school and summer's out forever, let's reflect on whether summer is just an overhyped three-month-long version of New Year's Eve, where we get our hopes up that this one will be the most amazing one ever, only to have life explained patiently once again that no, it's just a period of time like afternoon or the Middle Ages. Things might happen, like maybe a nap or throwing off the shackles of feudalism, but not because it's summer. Summer is approached with the same misguided false exceptionalism as American history in Kansas public schools. But in truth, summer has deer ticks, a lot of squinting, and Con Ed bills with the sweep and reach of an undiscovered David Foster Wallace epic. At the far end of the shortening daylight slope we're now on, New Year's Eve has non-functioning mistletoe, people who quote only one Robert Burns poem ever, and those Asian zebra mosquitoes who can survive at any temperature and in space. Weather is about probabilities and about predicting the future, so let's accept that autumn stands a better chance to be satisfying without any of summer's or New Year's Eve's Lacanian false hope. So we've arrived at Labor Day weekend, and here's what'll happen. A high-pressure system is dropping its kids off at college in New England right now, which means sunny skies all three days. Saturday, a high of 80. Sunday, 84. Monday, 87, with a nice breeze and strong waves at the shore. Having said that, let's reflect for a moment on the fact that we are still at the height of Cape season. Most people know the word Cape through the Robert Mitchum wacky vacation movie Cape Fear, or through pictures of dogs dressed as superheroes. My old superhero power is insignificance, and my new superpower is meeting people in bars and having them start making out with the, the next person they meet a moment later. But outside of bars, up in the sky, Cape stands for Convectively Available Potential Energy. It's measured in joules per kilogram and shows how rapidly a hot parcel of air will rise into the colder air aloft. The higher the number, the more likely for thunderstorm cells to form and for that potential energy to be converted into active energy in the form of sudden, severe weather. The cape should be quite low this weekend, but later next week, holy crap. I should also mention that far away in the Pacific, there are like four simultaneous hurricanes, which is three higher than the previously held record. This is Totally nothing to worry about, as once humans disrupt the planet's ecosystem enough that the ecosystem makes human life impossible and we're mostly wiped out, everything will get back to normal. Even the sky above Beijing will be blue again, and California's water restrictions will be lifted for the seven people still alive on the West Coast. That's it for now. Good night. Enjoy your cookouts and beach excursions, and don't forget to set your clocks back this weekend. Thanks for joining us for a while.